hear that popping? Oh my god. It... I hope I got that. The players are wearing this baby tonight. Kelly Green. in Seattle. I'm your host Kelly Hansen. Thank you for clicking on this video and as always if you like it hit that like and subscribe. Where am I? Obviously Climate Pledge Arena. What am I doing? I am learning about how this incredible arena is environmentally friendly. I get to meet a chef. I get to see a bunch of other fun things happening tonight and this is all thanks to Primera Blue Cross who is the official health plan of the Seattle Kraken. They're keeping us all ahead of the game. And I'm really excited to learn some things and potentially eat some good food. So, without further ado, let's go. My name is Molly Demirs, and I'm the executive chef for Climate Pledge Arena. We talk about how Climate Pledge is more environmental friendly than others. Let's zone in on the food. Two of the biggest issues that we deal with is the waste along with the sourcing. So we pride ourselves in doing 75% of what we actually purchase comes within a 300 mile radius. And then we even get more granular than that. It's women owned business, it's minority owned businesses, it's our community that is actually helping this get off the ground and feeding 15 to 16,000 fans that come here. When we talk about waste, a lot of things are hitting compostable bins more so, but then we need even to go further by how can we reutilize that. For example, watermelon rinds or melon rinds, we pickle those and we use those to enhance our menus. Sometimes you have to take a moment and pause and realize what's really actually happening here. We didn't just open a building or start a new season. We inaugurated um, one of the world-class, first-of-its-kind sustainable building all while introducing a brand new franchise to the NHL. It's historic in itself, but even more important than any other property we've ever opened because of the sustainability initiatives. We are at the forefront of what this future in this industry looks like. I definitely recommend our Bacon Pop Rock Kraken Potato. And then we also have this new Little Mama's White Sauce Pizza with our proprietary focaccia that we do in house. Okay, the first thing that I'm trying that Molly told me to try is the poppin' potato. And I didn't realize there's actually pop rocks on it. Like I can hear, can you hear that? Poppin'? Mm. Taste test time. This is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Flavors are incredible and I like it. I like the popping element. I didn't think I would, but here we are. Oh my god, it, I hope I got that. Okay, I'm getting that first one. It's goat cheese, mama little peppers, and white sauce. Very flavorful, 10 out of 10. This food tour, I'm really enjoying. <laughs> chicken nugget taste test time. I consider myself a chicken nugget connoisseur, so here we go. Unbelievably good. This, what is this? <laughs> what is this made of? Plants. Okay, it is legit the most Instagrammable wall, the living wall behind me. And I feel like it's grown since the last time I've been here, which shows that they're taking good care of the plants. So let's look. I'm Brianna Treat, the Manager of Transportation and Sustainability at Climate Pledge Arena. Climate Pledge Arena is a signatory of Amazon's Climate Pledge. Um, that pledge means that we account for all operational carbon here on site. That's scope one, two, and three emissions. Um, no other arena in the world uh, has even started accounting for that type of carbon. So it's amazing to be a part of an organization that is um, ahead of the game to help mitigate climate change. Tonight's game is our Green Night game. And tonight we have a lot of cool activations going on on the concourse. Um, um, our players are going to be wearing our special Green Knight um, jersey during their warm-up. It's um, designed by a local artist here in Seattle that pulls a lot of different sustainability elements from the city as well as what we're doing on site into the overall design. So we do have a rain to rink system here on site. We collect rainwater from the west end of the roof. 
Uh, so far, we've collected over 150,000 gallons of rainwater that we've been able to utilize and turn into the greenest ice in the NHL. Um, that's 150,000 gallons of water that ha we did not have to use from our domestic supply. Love that, so I guess we can shout out to Seattle for raining. Exactly, <laughs> yep. <laughs>